Hey, everybody, we're talking about the top five job interview questions that you'll face. And today we're dealing with the last one that you'll usually hear in every interview, which is do you have any questions for us? Now, this one seems deceptively easy. We all have questions that we want to ask. But what I find with most of my clients is that they tend to ask questions that seem really self interested. So questions about like, what are the working hours? What are the benefits? What are you know, what's the culture on the team? These are all really important questions, but they're not the kinds of questions I would ask first. The kinds of questions you want to be asking, especially in early stage interviews, are all about the work and the company. You want to be kind of scoping out what exactly it is they need out of you. So you want to ask questions like, hey, you know, what are the biggest challenges facing this department right now? Or over the next year, what are the biggest three projects you'll see me working on? Or even, you know, six months from now, let's imagine you've hired me and you're absolutely delighted. I've done everything you wanted and been everything you want you know, what have I done in those six months? And how have I conducted myself as an employee? So those kinds of questions are going to give you a little more insight onto what they're actually hiring you to do and what kind of traits they want you to have in a hire. So that'll help you one, seem really interested in the role, it'll help you two have a better understanding of the role. But then three, crucially, it also helps you build ammunition later on for when you want to make a case for why you're worth a ton of money in your salary negotiation. Um, Because basically, this allows you to go, hey, what do you guys want to hire for? They'll give you the list. And then you can just start talking about those things in the interview. So you seem like a really good fit for the things that they're looking for. And then when you're negotiating your salary, you can say, well, I think I'm worth an extra $10,000 because I bring X, Y, and Z, which I already know you want because I asked you to the table. So Make that little tweak to your job interview questions, start asking them more about the role itself as opposed to just the general working environment. And I think you'll have way more success. Good luck. Okay, bye.